In this next segment, I want to show you one of the most simple but most powerful and effective tools that you'll find in Vegas. This is something I absolutely love that you can do with this application, is the ability to loop and see things in real time as they're happening. This is something that I use a lot when I'm trying to find a particular look or a style or maybe a transition, but it's just something that I frequently use. So I want to show you how to use the looping tool to maximum power. So let's have a look. What I've got here is just a piece of media that I'm going to let roll on the timeline. Not anything big, but uh, what we'll do is we're going to grab a couple of sections here. So we're going to grab between these two pieces of media. We're just going to set up a small selection. So just by clicking and dragging, I've created a selection. I'm going to hit the Q key to turn on the looping tool. You'll notice this line just changed blue. Well, the reason that I love this so much is because it allows me to do some pretty specific things. Now, I don't really care for the look that I see right here. It's a little too bright, it's a little too green, and I wanted a little more gray and perhaps a little more dismal. So I'm gonna start working with a few different tools to see what I can make it do. So let's start off by going to the Video Effects tab. And just for a quick idea, I'm gonna grab a gradient map and I'm gonna drag it down and drop it on this first clip. Okay. And let's start playing with some of the different gradient map tools. For instance, let's try seeing what it looks like if we apply a cool filter to it. That's way too cool compared to the next shot. See, I can manipulate it while I'm looking at it. So now I've made it a little bit colder. There it is without the cold. So got a kind of a look that I think I like, but you know, that might not be it. So let's remove that particular plugin tool and let's maybe go in and grab the HSL control. We're gonna drop it again on that first clip. I think I just wanna reduce the saturation of that first clip just a little bit. There we go. Now it's not quite so green. It's a little more gray. It's a little more dismal, especially compared to the next shot. Okay, so I think I like that particular look. And now I want to add a little more blue to make it colder. So let's go in and we're just going to add the color correction tool. And let's just swing that shot a little bit more to blue as soon as we see it come up. There we go. Not too much, just a little bit. So now, I, just letting it loop, I can see exactly what I want my shot to look like or, or set it up to do what I want. So now I want to see what that looks like on uh, both the shots. So I'm going to right click, choose copy, choose the next clip, and choose paste event attributes. Now while that's looping through, I'll see what it looks like on both clips. Yeah, I think I like that. It's it's really got kind of a, a real ugly quality to it. It it's, doesn't have very much color. It's kind of dingy and, and almost gray. So it's just a cool way that I can work. But the nice thing is, is I've got this looping tool that lets me do all of that. So the looping tool can absolutely be one of your very best friends when you're working in either Vegas or Vegas Movie Studio. Just hit that Q key and start to drop things on. Let's look at it in one more application just so that you can get an idea of what else can be done. I'm gonna show you a shortcut that works with transitions. And this works with Vegas Movie Studio and Vegas Pro Software. So you can do it with, with any tool, with any plugin or transition found in Vegas. Let's look at it. Yeah, I'm going to make a transition between two of these clips just by dragging one over top of the other. So we can see our transition there. And let's just shorten up our, our looping region so we're not looking at quite so much. Great, there's our transition. Let's come over to our transitions window. Let's choose a transition that we might want to work with there. So maybe we want to use a, uh, a linear wipe. So let's choose one here and we'll just, um, let's drag down the top down soft edge. We can dra drag it right on top of that X. And you'll notice that this window pops open. Well, first of all, there's our transition happening. I don't really like that transition, let's, so let's just remove it. Let's take maybe down a, a page loop. So let's just grab this, this page curl here, one of these page curls, drop that on. You'll notice it went in just the second I let go of it. So again, with that looping tool, we're able to preview exactly what that's going to look like. We don't have to render anything up. We don't have to go very far with it at all. I guess we'll just drag this down and drop it. And while we're looking at it, you know, we really don't like uh, the, the uh, loop radius. So let's make it a lot smaller. Let's just take it all the way out. There we go. So we can audition what's happening with our, our, our uh, turn there. See how we can just keep playing with this until we can get it to do exactly what we want it to do. And we can shift our perspective up. So we'll just play with all of these tools just like that. Well, I don't think I like that either. So now I'm going to show you how we can drop something on that we already know that we like without having to see the dialogue. 
So let's go to our cross effect, and I know that I really like this cross zoom A and B. So I'm going to drag it down. While I drag it, I'm going to hold the shift key when I drop it. And you'll notice that no dialog opened up that time. See, by holding the shift key, you can prevent that dialog from opening up when you're done with that transition or that plug-in tool. So when you drop the plug-in on, it doesn't open up the dialog if you're holding down the shift key. It's just another time saver that'll save you just a couple of seconds when you're working in the Vegas application. Check out more tips from Vast.com.